Hi everyone, my name is American. Welcome to the Mentalist Rewatch series, a show in which I rewatch and review every episode of The Mentalist from the beginning. Today's episode is Bleeding Heart, which is season two, episode 12. And after rewatching it, here are a few things that worked and didn't work. Let's start with what worked. I kind of like the whole office vibe thing, you know, where you have a camera crew that's following everyone and you have like, the intercuts between the interview and actually what's happening, that was pretty, you know, a little bit original, a little bit funny. I particularly like the way Cho handled the interviewer where he was like, oh, you wanna interview me? No, no one interviews me, I interview you. I like the way he turned that situation around, so that was pretty cool. And I was also kind of surprised about Rigsby's reaction where he was kind of emotional about this, like, you know, this makes you think, which explains what happens later on, but we'll get to that in a bit. Dave's reluctance overall for, from being filmed was completely understandable. Even I was like, really? How is this a good idea? Y'all know what happened before. And I was kind of like disappointed that Lisbon didn't quite know that. And so, you know, I guess we're trying to like bring it up in a subtle way, but I don't know. I understand his reaction. I think that it gave us an opportunity to just see the fact that he still feels some level of guilt to what happened before, so I'm okay with that. The fact that Lisbon didn't see that coming was a little bit unbelievable. Let's call it what it is. I like the fact that the case was actually a bit of a puzzler. I didn't quite see how they were gonna solve it. It kind of went in a lot of different directions. There was a red herring <laughs> in the sense that we thought it was gonna be the eco-terrorist guy and then there might have been something else and then Jane like twisted it all around and I liked that aspect at all. Although the resolution was kind of debatable, which I'll get to in a bit. And finally, the Rust Belt reveal where basically Rigsby and Van Pelt revealed their relationship openly to Lisbon, who apparently was the only one who didn't know that this was going down. I, I think the moment was sweet. I'll give them that. Although, you know, as I was thinking about it, I'm like, oh, it's nice, I like it, but I also know why they're doing it, so it's kind of like taking away from that moment, so I'll still put it as a what worked situation, you know, just, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it as a what worked. Now let's talk about what didn't work. The suspect reveal was very disappointing. First of all, they managed to get the suspect to incriminate themselves by bringing in sort of like a proof that they actually knew the victim. But up until the point in which they confessed, they only had circumstantial evidence. And then the suspect just confessed. Just blurted it all out and said, this is what happened, guys. Let me just tell you. I'm like, first of all, this, this thing that they have in this particular show of catching the suspect with a sort of like a flimsy circumstantial evidence thing and then the suspect just confessing for no reason. This is the second time in a very long time that they're just doing that in a row. And I'm like, they need to stop doing that. Like, this is kind of irritating. It's kind of annoying me and I don't know. It's just, I, it's an insult to my intelligence and it's an insult to the intelligence of the viewers who deserve better. We deserve better. But that is not, it was a good episode. It wasn't perfect, obviously, but it was a good episode overall. But what about you? What did you enjoy about this particular episode? What do you think about the whole wrist belt reveal? Are you also irritated about the way characters confess so readily on The Mentalist? Just comment below, let me know. Next episode I'll be reviewing is Red Line, which is season two, episode 13. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.